So it's kind of this very, very unsustainable um, situation. And the problem is, oh, beautiful graph I made there. Um, the problem with that is that you don't, the market doesn't function properly. The market is not able to flush out the bad companies, the companies that don't generate enough value. Now the problem with that is, um, as I said, you don't get to uh, redistribute funds to the most productive endeavors. And what you see is a slow decline in productivity. And this is, it, this is productivity growth. So this doesn't mean the economy is shrinking. It just means that productivity growth is slowly declining. And in some cases lately, we've seen it be quite negative. Obviously, there are some external factors like COVID and stuff like that that are part of that. But the current stagflationary environment that uh, we might be in, we might not fully be in, is not because of wars in Ukraine or other things. It's because we don't have a market that is functioning properly. We don't have a market where central banks allow it to function properly. And that's why um, we, we've become so focused on consumption growth. When we talk about growth, we don't talk about real growth. We don't talk about productivity anymore. We don't talk about innovation. Well, you guys do because you work here and you are in the innovative industry. Um, but in general, when, when growth is talked about in the media, it's about how much more we consume. Well, there's not much growth to consumption if it's all based on credit, because that growth disappeared the moment we have to pay the credit back. If you want to borrow money, you do it with something that can generate a return that is higher than your interest, the interest you're paying on it. Then you can generate real growth.